Hi, uh, this is Maruf. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to configure your KVM to work with uh, Linux Logical Volume Manager. Uh, by default, in many cases, in 1 to 12.04, I think, if you install uh, your Linux uh, 1 to 12.04, it doesn't uh, install the uh, Logical Volume Manager. It doesn't configure the disk with Logical Volume Manager. So in this case, for example, I have two uh, disk drive on this computer. One is a 500 gigabyte and the one is a one terabyte. So I have this uh, 500 gigabyte which I selected during my Ubuntu installation which got uh, installed with the regular uh, Linux partition uh, which is, uh, you know, I have the, uh, you know, here's the Linux partition. And I have a one terabyte disk uh, Ignore this, uh, it's gonna die anyway, but uh, still good. Uh, which I'm gonna use for my uh, uh, virtual machine um, machines through uh, Logical Volume Manager. So this is called uh, slash dev sdb. So to create a uh, logical volume, what you do is basically okay, uh, let me do sudo in command line okay the command that you're going to use pv create slash dev sdp that's the uh, disk uh, drive that I'm going to use so this is going to create a physical uh, volume so press enter Okay, so I create it. So now I'm going to run a command to see if my uh, physical volume shows up here. If I run this command, it should show up here. So it's uh, it's uh, showing up this uh, physical volume here, which is 931 gigabyte, 0.5 gigabyte, and free is 931. So now the next thing I need to do is to create a logical volume, which is basically a volume group, in other words. Uh, Okay, to create the volume group, you, you basically run sudo vgcreate and give it a name, I guess. Uh, I'm going to call it uh, KVM Virtual Machines or KVM VMs. And then I'm going to give the path, same. If you have multiple disk drives, uh, you can configure multiple disk drive here. Like if you had a, another drive, which I'd be, I would call it SDC. In that case, once I create the uh, previous command, which is you know create the physical volumes are created for dev slash dev SDC as well, then I should be able to create those uh, one volume group based on two two of the physical volumes. But in this case, I have only one, so I'm going to press enter. Okay, so it's created. Now I can see if my volume group got created or not by using the command sudo vgs and here it is. So I have this created. Now there is also a GUI tool that you can use instead of using this uh, if you are not uh, familiar with the command line which is equal to Ubuntu Software Center and you look for LVM and this is the GUI tool. It's called Logical Volume Management. So once you install it, you should be able to open it up as well like this. So I have it open already here. So I'm just going to open it up. And I'm going to log in with my password. Okay, so it, it basically detected my logical volume here, which is uh, this volume. Okay, actually it's just a volume group. So no logical. Um, logical volume created yet. Okay. So I just created a physical volume and then I create a uh, volume group. Okay. Uh, so you should be able to perform different operations here as well if you want it. So now, since we have the uh, volume group created, now we have to set up KVM to use this uh, logical volume group. Okay. So to do that, uh, for example, uh, you go to so I have a you may you have to have this KVM virtual machine manager installed on a machine where you're connecting to KVM uh, to. So if you have KVM server running on different machines, you can still have virtual machine manager 
uh, which you can download and install from this Ubuntu Software Center. Cold Pressure Machine Manager. This is the one, so you can install that. I got it already installed, so once you install it, you should be able to connect to KVM instance. So I'm going to open it up. So I have a uh, you know one VM already here. So once you log in, you can right click on this local host. In this case, it's local host. I'm going to right click on details, and under we're going to go to storage, and we're going to add a storage. So we're going to use here logical volume group. Okay, now we're going to say you know, KVM VMs. LVM just to know that it's forward. Okay. Okay, so I have it created. Just gonna say. finish so I have my logical volume group created here and okay so I have it created here we'll close it uh, let's see if we can create a VM here say one two twelve point four server example and I have an ISO ISO file which I'm gonna mount here I'll browse local okay and the OS type uh, Linux bond to 12.04 okay Oh, that's fine. That is also fine. We're not going to allocate. So we're going to select and manage other existing storage here. In this case, I'm going to choose this. Okay. Now, in this case, I'm going to create a new volume. I'm going to call it, uh, yeah, that's fine. And maximum capacity is by default 1000, so but available space is 931. So I can create say 10,000. And we're going to keep the allocation as it is. Okay, so it's created. Choose the volume forward. That's fine. Uh, networking. Let's do BR zero. That's my bridge. And KVM X six. Fine. Finish. So now we should have this VM here. So now we are on the Ubuntu server installation page. Okay, so as you see, I'm now using now. If I go to my volume manager here, the GUI here, I should see a volume there created. So, what it does, the KVM basically, uh, you know, you point your logical volume group, and then you point your KVM to that logical volume group, and then KVM can create volumes from individual VMs. You can create your volumes. So then, if I want to uh, take a snapshot, I can create a snapshot here and then that will basically create a backup of this VM if I need to. Okay, and I can you know migrate to different disk or anything like that. That's pretty uh, handy. So that's about it. I hope this video helps uh, and thank you for watching.